The Chicago Fall Tennis Classic moves into quarterfinal rounds today at the XS Tennis Center in Washington Park. It's part of the Women's Tennis Association's first tour here in more than two decades. It's also the first time tournaments at this level are being produced on the south side. Joining us now is professional tennis coach and founder of XS Tennis, Kamal Murray. Good morning, Kamal. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Good to have you in studio. I know, and right? We're not still socially studio. distant, but still better in person. How is it to set? I can't imagine the logistics of getting a tournament like this together, let alone luring them to a place where they haven't been before. Especially during COVID. You yes. know, all the protocols, all the PPE you have to yeah. do. Uh, and then just getting them to be courageous and come to Chicago. You know, it's a global sport, and I think that when people from across the world hear about Chicago, the first thing they hear about is violence. They don't hear about the beautiful parts of the city, right. and excess tennis, and the bean, right? So, you know, the violence is more famous than the bean. So when we try to lure events here, that always comes up when we have to address it. Right. Yeah. How, how big of a, you know, for lack of a better word, tennis town uh, is Chicago, right? You know, it's a basketball city. It's a are there a lot of are there is it thriving can you tell us about that 100 percent so uh the last two american world number one juniors came from chicago taylor townsend and donald young mm -hmm. we've had three united states tennis association presidents be from chicago alan schwartz john vagos and katrina adams so chicago is the epicenter of tennis um, and so now we're just trying to bring the events back to it like we like like we used to have back when the virginia slims was around mm -hmm. in the Billie Jean king era are there more kids playing now Oh, there's so many more kids playing now. I think, you know, COVID really helped. Our program grew 45% during COVID because of the socially distant nature oh, yeah. of it. And so, you know, we're seeing a big boom. We're seeing, you know, people like Coco Golf and Sloan Stevens sort of continue to propel the sport. The little girl, Emma Raducanu, you know, so younger players are having some success. And that's inspiring those 13 year olds. Like, oh, I'm, she's just 18 and I could do it in five years. Right. What does tennis teach kids who, who may not be professional tennis players? Well, ultimately, it's accountability. I mean, this is an individual sport, and you have the opportunity to win and lose on your own. Uh, the fact that it's not a team sport means that you also have the opportunity to succeed. You're not benched by the coach, right, or getting outshined. Yeah. So if you can sort of take control of your own destiny and stay disciplined, uh, I think this sport, you know, really uh, can teach a lot of benefits. The other thing is, in order to get good, you got to play 10 hours a week. And so that's more time where you're not sort of just having idle time or video games or walking the street. You're really committed to this. And so commitment is lesson number one in this game. What if pe parents want to get their kids involved? And is, is there a big cost to it if they want to go to your facility? Yeah, so we have sliding scale scholarships. Our, our full price membership is $25 a month for a kid. Mm -hmm. And then it goes down from that. So it's a no child left behind kind of operation. And we, we stand by that. And we hope that more Chicago families take advantage of it. Phoenix Williams was uh, here a couple of weeks ago playing as well in, 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 in the city. You know, obviously when you, when you do an event like this, you want it to be well received and you want it to uh, make an impact. Are you surprised by just how positively it, it's been received and the impression it's made? Well, I think that when the pros came here, they all had a flashback to when they were kids. When they saw all these Chicago kids being ball kids and wanting to hit with them, they were like, wow, I wish I had that as a kid. Mm -hmm. And so Venus actually lost on the first day, which was Monday, and stayed until Thursday. She said, I'm coming back tomorrow. Can we do a clinic? I'm coming back tomorrow. Can I talk with some kids? I mean, so they really love the great food in Chicago, the yeah. tourism, but then they love just the flashback that it gave them back to their childhood. I'm wondering if this, this new movie, King Richard and the Williams sisters' father is gonna, that was probably gonna send people flooding to your place too, right? I know, and the other side of it is gonna, every dad that used to play basketball or football is gonna say, you know what, I can read the book and make a pro now. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna put tennis coaches out of business. Right. Yeah. It's just that easy, <laughs> right? right? Oh, that's great. Uh, Quarterfinal matches begin today at 9 a.m. The uh, Chicago Tennis uh, Fall Tennis Classic is hosted at the XS Tennis Village in Washington Park. You can find tickets at ChicagoTennisFestival.com. Kamal Murray, thanks for joining us. Really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thanks great for having you. me.